This is my video of the installation of this, I'm going to say Groa uh, shower uh, valve system. I'd never in my life installed a shower uh, and found this to be very confusing with very little help out there on the internet. Uh, this is not intended to be an installation video to show you everything you need to do because I am not an expert. I've never, like I said, done this before. So this video is just intended to provide the novice like myself with some thoughts and my observations in the installation of this. There's two parts of a shower valve as I have found out. One is the rough end valve and let me show you some pictures of what it looks like behind the wall. This particular valve, and I'll put the model number below, is called thermostatically controlled, which means it has uh, the ability to change the temperature f as it's flowing out of the shower to make sure that it never gets too hot. This prevents uh, scalding if someone were to flush the toilet. Uh, and I felt it was kind of important for my case because I'm using an on-demand water heater, which you can change the temperature on it really easily so the hot water coming out of it will be perhaps different temperatures sometime and you'd hate to just go back flip it to on and burn yourself so this sort of this will limit the maximum temperature so the other part of the valve is the control valve and with this Groa system there's there's really not that many there's only about four different types that you can get um, and they have diverters in them if you have a, say a, a tub or this is the one I got here with only one control on it you just turn it on and it starts out cold and it goes all the way over to hot so you can't really vary the amount of water that comes out but I don't know who would do that when they're taking a shower this is the control valve that comes with the um, with the controls it's a, really a heavy duty solid brass um, big seals uh, and then the control knob on the outside this ring is going to go over the control valve you can see well, let me get to that in a second but you can see so when you cut your tile you need to make sure that any of your cuts are going to be under this ring and what the manual says is that um, you've got about three sixteenths of an inch so you've got to be pretty precise when you get this um, this rough end valve in you're gonna you're gonna there's a plastic box it's pretty thin you can use a razor knife and you just cut it flush around the outside of the tiles inside these are there are ball valves in here this is the hot end and this is the cold end here and if you I'm not going to open them because I don't want to drench my camera but you can if you open it up here uh, that will supply water and what you're supposed to, this this plastic thing in here it's called a, a I don't know a flush body I believe so when you first install it you got to open these up for a couple of minutes let the water will go through and then up to the shower head um, to flush out any contaminants so they don't end up going through the valve body so after you flush it out you're going to remove this uh, plastic piece and I'll show you how to do that there are these four stainless steel screws in here and at first I wondered why they were such nice screws if you're just going to take this out. But you are going to reuse them, so don't lose them. Now I have seen some questions on the internet about how do you get this, this plastic thing out. Because um, you don't, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't want to force anything. But it, it is sealed in there pretty tight. So I've got this, I think it's a barbed wire fence tool um, which got has this good nipper on it get a good hold of it and you're just gonna pull really hard there are some seals in there 
I didn't have to pull that hard because I've taken it out before. First time I did it was really stuck in there and then there's a pop and it'll come right out. So don't, once you get those screws out, don't feel uh, timid, just yank it out. Okay, so there's a H and a C, C, H. Hot is gonna go on the left, cold is on the right. Hopefully that's the way you've set up your, um, you've plumbed it. It's gonna go in with this valve and you're gonna just screw it in using those four screws. I have seen someone complaining about the fact they can't get their water to get hot. Well, it's thermostatically controlled. The top end is controlled by the valve itself. You have to adjust it if you want it to be hotter. And I haven't, I'll get to that eventually, but this is the control limit ring right here. It's hard to hold this, I'm sorry. I did take a shower with the valve installed like this last night just to see what the temperature was like and it was pretty much near darn perfect right from the factory um, but I just want to have some headroom in case I or anybody else wants it to be even hotter than that so I did figure out how to adjust the preset factory um, temperature and that is this ring you need to just remove it it just comes off with a little pressure and then you're going to set it counterclockwise to make it hotter or clockwise to make it less hot. It was right here. Um, this is completely unscientific. I'm going to just move it a little bit, take another shower, and see how it does. What I discovered was that I moved this temperature setting to its maximum. That's as far as when you put this vet this when you put this ring on that's as far as let me turn this on without as this will go I mean it's not actually hitting that but it'll just stop here this ring wasn't even here now to make it colder you put this back and that makes the valve stop somewhere down here so it's colder 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 so essentially I set it at its hottest temperature, um, which even with my on-demand water heater set at its highest rate, still wasn't scalding me. It was warmer than I would normally set it at, so um, I feel that's probably, for my application, pretty good. I did, um, while I was in there, turn on the other faucets and flush the toilet, and, and while the flow rate of the shower uh, would decrease, the temperature never really changed at all so I'm gonna call that a success for me that's I'm gonna set mine at my maximum hottest temperature has a o-ring that has a split let me 
make sure you put this on the bottom so keep the water out and any water that does get in will go out down here okay and then these two long stainless steel screws go on here and it's a bit difficult to try to find where they go so you kind of have to search around a bit Tighten it down good. Now, I can't get this thing on because, and you can't see this, but I think I have these screws too tight because this is sort of dished in here. So these um, places where these clips go are too far back. So I'm going to just back these screws off a little bit and see if that helps. did the job. Next this plastic piece is going to go in here. Back side of this. And this you want to put at three o'clock. And there's a plastic washer and a stainless steel screw to hold that in place. And finally, looks like a plastic cap that's going to go on top. That should do it. Let's give it a try. There we go.